Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Coming back at you, another offering of my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter video series videos I've been doing for the while. Now we're going there, travel food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, folks. I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know in a verbal manner. There might be some hand gestures along the way. There will be hand gestures along the way. Think of it like an interpretive dance session, okay? That's I'm not I'm not just explaining to you about a food item, okay? I'm going to take you on a journey with me. Okay. Journey. But anyway, I'm inside the truck, I'm grody, I grabbed a thing after work. What's the thing that I grabbed after work that I'm gonna go over there and review and then interpretive dance my way into your hearts with well folks we're gonna grab the first one because boom what the hell is this this is tepachito that's how i'm gonna pronounce it just if you don't i'm gonna say this right now i'm always gonna do my best with pronunciations i try if that's not how it's pronounced i do apologize that's how i'm pronouncing it so if you don't like it from this point on you're not gonna like it to the end I'm calling it Tepachito because it looks to be spelled T-E-P-A-C-H-I-T-O. Tepachito. Tepachito, non-alcoholic, craft pineapple and mango cider drink with other natural flavors. It is a pineapple and mango cider. Oh, that's so cool. I love cider. The apple variety. Okay, love it. Love it to death. Uh, we're about in fall at the time that I'm doing this, so now we're starting to see the cider show up, like, you know, in the stores more often. Ah! One of my favorite times of year. This pineapple. I love pineapple, folks. I love pineapple. I love cider. Pineapple cider. Now, here's the thing. As I stated, this is pineapple and mango. A common, you know, flavor combination. They do actually just have straight-up pineapple cider. I'm not going to review that because I've had that numerous times. They typically sell it in uh, like Mexican grocery stores. I've never seen this one though before, nor have I seen the other one that I'm going to do in a separate video. And I figured, man, I got to get in on this and I got to do a video. I think this is going to be delicious. Hopefully it's going to be delicious because again, I like the pineapple one quite a bit. They do a good job. So we'll see how things go. I'm fairly certain this isn't a twist off. I, I was incorrect. It is a twist off. Who loves pineapple? I love pineapple. I don't think this is a twist off. I think it's letting me twist it, but I don't think it's a twist off. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. That's fine. Because ha 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 ha, we have a uh, electrical cabinet key from work. There we go. Yeah, it's not a twist off just was letting me twist it. Apparently, I have Herculean strength and was able to twist it. It smells very fragrant. Now, we'll say in regards to the, the typical pineapple one, it is not like anything pineapple related that you're typically going to try. It is its own thing, and it's really good. So hopefully this will be just as good. Ooh. If my, uh, if my noises, you know, my involuntary noises that came from my mouth were any indication, yeah, this is really good. Um, I'll say this, it's not as good as the straight up pineapple one. I didn't think it was going to be because I really like pineapple just by itself. With mango is fine. Mango is kind of a thing for me where I like it. Like I've done mango related things. I did Pepsi mango. Uh, I did the Coca-Cola Dream World, which I found out is apparently supposed to be somewhat mango flavored, which was interesting to think of. I definitely wasn't thinking mango when I tried it. So... <sighs> But I, I think I, you know, yeah, the, the straight up pineapple one is definitely my preference. But I do still really like this. The only thing that works against it, 
is an aspect from the mango. Mango is really tasty in like when it's used for me personally, when it's used with other things or when it's used very lightly. Too much mango, it's just too much for me. I just I like the tropical taste of it, but it when it gets to a certain point, it has like this weird kind of aftertaste that I just don't really appreciate all that much. The Pepsi mango kind of runs into that problem a little bit. Um, it's so mangoey. This runs into it a little bit too. I would have liked, I mean, typically I would have just gone for the pineapple stuff, but that's definitely more what I prefer because you do get like a mangoey, like about halfway through the drinking experience, it becomes more mangoey than pineapple-y. And at that point it drops off a little bit for me. I like, I drink it and I'm like, Ooh, this is really good. Halfway through it's like, oh, okay, it's still good, but not as. Yeah. It's got that weird, that weird, like mango finish, which is just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan of it, but the drink overall it's so weird, too, because I think it's the way that it's blended. It's, like, there there is sort of a pineapple taste to it, but it's not, it's not a punchy pineapple taste. It's more like kind of a tropical taste that's just sweet. Um, but then it has, like, the mango-y aspect of it. I'd, I'd say the mango, honestly, shines more than the pineapple in this one. Which, again, for me is a little bit... It depends on how much you like mango, I guess. But as a cider, I will say... There's a crispness to it. It it tastes both crisp and refreshing, which is nice. Um, a lot of times, you know, especially like, you know, sodas or carbonated things, they can be a little bit heavy when you drink them. With this even though there is like a carbonation to it, it's, it's more, I've already used the word, but it's more refreshing. You, you drink it down, you feel refreshed. <laughs> That's like the lamest way to describe it ever, but it's, it's just, it's, it's how it feels. Yeah, I do like it. I just, for me, the normal pineapple one is definitely my favorite. Is definitely my my preference over this one. Uh, but if you're into mango, definitely give this a shot if you can run into it because it's not a bad mango flavor. It's not overly punchy, but it's there, and it gives it like a, a tropical flavor. Just for me, not the type of tropical flavor that I'm typically that into. So, but it's good. I would in fact recommend it, even if it's not 100% for me. And I'll definitely finish drinking it, you know, gladly. So anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Uh, but here's the thing. If you're interested in that one, you might be interested in my next one because the next one's going to be... Ooh, pineapple and guava. Just saying. But anyway, folks, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Mind your mentor rest of the month. Spend rest of the year. And folks, if you could go over there and have yourselves a truly... Pineapple cider tastic rest of your life because pineapple is the best fruit ever. Typically, I try to give it to people. I'm like, you know, hey, everybody's got no pineapples, the best fruit ever. Okay? You can't debate it. It's the best fruit ever. Final two things, folks. Number one, uh, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time, folks. Here's what you do you try not to be an asshole. Okay? Now, it's not always easy. Because we live in a world that's crazy and there's all kinds of stuff and things going on. But it's important to remember the positive things too, folks. But even if you can't all the time, because sometimes you can't, it's important that we mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives so that hopefully we can go over there and, you know, make the world a, just on a small scale, a little bit better place. And if we all do that, then a small scale becomes a medium scale, becomes a big scale, extra large scale, big gulp scale, so on and so forth. And eventually we get bought out by 7-Eleven, like all things eventually will. Final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe that thing is you're going to go... Maybe you're going to go over there. You're going to try out some of the 
Tapachito pineapple cider stuff. You'll be like, this is amazing. I need to make my own pineapple cider. And then it's delicious and it's amazing. And then you go over there and you're like, all right, I get, get in touch with this guy on YouTube who I watched the video of. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to send him some so that he can go over there and review it. But maybe by the time you've done so, because, you know, you got to get the formula right and everything like that. Maybe by that point in time, I've gone on to, you know, become like a world famous surfer. And then maybe I'm not doing YouTube videos anymore. But I'll still gladly take the pineapple cider. I'm also definitely not going to become a world famous surfer. That I can all but guarantee you. Or conversely, you could go over there and do something way more realistic that doesn't involve me becoming a world-class surfer at some point. Like, uh, maybe you could become a world-class surfer. Maybe that's something you're interested in. Maybe something you'd like to go over there and devote your time to. I believe in you. Don't get eaten by sharks. Bye.